My gosh. That was fun. It's too bad Brian and I are not uh, audio engineers, so we have a very basic knowledge in regards to uh, actual equipment. So thank you for your patience. Um, we're just going to restart and, uh, you know, explain what the video is going to be about. Um, for those of you who caught the, the previous live for a couple seconds, uh, we are just going to explain uh, some of the Black Friday deals that we have as we look ahead to next week. Uh, we got some new products that we want to show off. And then we also have a lot of announcements in regards to, uh, you know, events, um, plans for exclusives, things like that. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Brendan. This is my brother, Brian. Um, we have this layout here of a whole bunch of products that we're going to talk about. He's going to explain the products and I am going to show them. So if you guys don't mind, let us know if the audio is better. We were having some troubles on the, the last live video a few minutes ago, um, but we made some updates. So hopefully the audio is good to go. Tanya did not break the mics this time. She did break the mics on the last video, but we're all good to go. All right, Brian, how you doing? Good. Stressing? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're all good. So we'll have to uh, put me in charge, I think, of finding the, uh, the next set of equipment or getting somebody in here to test it because... Uh, it uh, hasn't been going so smoothly when we go on the YouTube Live, but at least we're on now. Mm -hmm. uh, these mics are what we use for all of our TikTok videos, uh, which usually work pretty well. So uh, just keep updating us. If you have any issues hearing us, we'll make sure that uh, we do whatever we can to, to make this video as great as possible. On that, you know, a couple minute video for the people that were able to hear us, uh, what we're going to do today is go Friday deals that we've got coming up and then also uh, go over a ton of new arrivals that uh, have come in over the last uh, week or so. Mm -hmm. um, but we're, we're two weeks out from Fountain Pen Day. We're completely caught up on all of our shipments there. And so now we've got dozens and dozens of packages coming in uh, over the last couple of days and, and early next week with all of the new stuff that, uh, that we're pushing for the holidays. So what we were going to start with is the a few of the door busters mm -hmm. that we already have live. This is like some deja vu. This is how far we got in the last video. Yes, oh my goodness. It is. So first up, we've got the Pelican M800 Demo Green. We have this on special for Fountain Pen Day uh, for $400. We're going to be doing the exact same deal. These will be getting uh, their price reduced either Monday or Tuesday of next week. Uh, but we have all the nip sizes in stock, extra fine through broad to get an M800 pen for about $400, over half off. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, we had to, to pull some strings to, to make that happen, uh, but it uh, doesn't come along often where you're able to, to grab something like that, especially a, a special edition. Uh, next up, this is this might be the best value that we have. Uh, we have the Monteverde Innova Formula M collection. Comes in three different colors. Seven, six or seven different nib sizes, extra fine up through their flex nib. Everything in stocks comes with a converter in there. It's a really unique pattern on there. It's got like a, a woven texture to it uh, in metal. Is that aluminum? I think I it's think, aluminum, yeah. yeah. Yeah, really nice pen. Yeah, so these are normally $85. We've got all three colors, the bronze, the blue, and the black on sale for 35. Those are live right now. Uh, and, and they're expected to go fast. I uh, kind of like the Duragraph collection that we had on Fountain Pen Day. Um, similar price point. Uh, those we sold out of most of the colors right away. All right. So let's see. We could try, uh, I see a comment for trying landscape. We can definitely try that. So. Yeah, we'll work on that in the next one. Um, next up, we have the Platinum Kyrdos collection. The original colors, there's four or five colors in this. Uh, we have more stock coming because I know we sold out of a few nib sizes already, but these are $100 pens for $50. Mm -hmm. uh, retractable fountain pens. There's not many out there that uh, that are retractable like this and definitely nothing around $50. So these are part of the doorbuster sale. We've got all the uh, colors coming in. We've also got some special edition matte colors that mm -hmm. we have in stock that are also on doorbuster for $70. And those come with a bottle. I think those come with a bottle of ink, right? Yeah, they do. Yep. Yeah, I think the, the platinum mixable inks. Okay. Yeah, so all of the Kyrdos will be on sale, uh, actually are currently on sale. So if there's one that you've been eyeing, grab those before they sell out. 
I think that's all the that's all that we have here to show so, for Doorbusters. Yeah, so over the next couple of days, uh, when we get back in early next week, we're gonna be doing some other live videos showcasing some of the Doorbusters that we have. I know Brendan will be doing some videos as well for TikTok and Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, showing off some of the the products that we've got going on that are on uh, promotion. Most of the Doorbusters are set. There might be a couple more that uh, we're a that we're waiting on or that we're. Uh, able to put up last minute but almost everything for doorbuster will be uh is live now or will be live here very shortly mm -hmm. all right cool let's talk about this real quickly okay yeah that's all you so we've been uh you know throwing around the idea of that that raffle for uh the rights to purchase these special edition pelicans um we drew the the names yesterday at 12 p.m central time so i have the list so we will email you guys if you uh, won the raffle to reserve the rights to buy the pens. This is for the M600 turquoise and white, the M600 ruby red, the M800 ocean swirl, and the M800 renaissance brown. So if you won the rights to purchase the pens through the raffle, we will email you today, and then we'll also send you the invoice so you can complete the purchase. Again, we wish we had you know enough for all of you, but there was an insane amount of restock notifications and a very limited amount of product that we had. So that's why we went ahead and did the raffle rather than just have it be a free for all. So if you won, then we'll reach out to you today. You'll get an email from us. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then outside of those, I think there's what, seven or eight other finishes there's that are available, or maybe more than that, available yeah. on the website right now, past previous uh, limited edition, special editions that are available, one shot deal. Once those are gone, those are gone. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, do you want to talk about the exclusive next, or do you want to save that for the end? Yeah, we could talk about it now, just okay. because uh, we've already had quite a few people purchase it already within the first like thirty minutes of it being. Yeah, while well, we were <laughs> troubleshooting the uh, the microphone situation here, mm -hmm. so we have been busy working on a new exclusive with Edison Pens. Uh, went through I don't know how many Thousands. different, yeah, hundreds and hundreds of different materials. Uh, to find something that we, we were really excited about. And we came across uh, this material from Mackenzie Penworks. So what you're looking at is the Atlas exclusive collier in the lake effect uh, is what we're calling it. So inspiration behind Lake Michigan during the winter uh, with the ice and snow and wind and uh, just ended up being a really beautiful finish that, that mm -hmm. came out here. Uh, we are limited to 50 pieces on this. The nib options are extra fine up through stub 1.5. Mm -hmm. So we launched about an hour ago. We have not announced this yet on social media, on, on Instagram, I had an email blast, uh, but we've already sold quite a few. So if you're interested in this one, we will not be remaking this exact pen. Uh, it is limited to, to those 50 pieces. Yeah, it seems like it'll be a quick mover. Yeah, yeah oh, it definitely will be. Perfect. Yeah, we, uh, we pulled what the name should be in our Discord server, and uh, one of our members, actually a moderator, uh, came up with the name Lake Effect. And a lot of you were giving us names inspired by Lake Michigan or the Shedd Aquarium. So it seems like a lot of people were on the same wavelength in terms of a theme around the pen. But then once we heard Lake Effect, you know, it fits the bill of being, you know, something known in Chicago without naming it like Lake Michigan or Chicago water or whatever it is. So yeah. absolutely love the name of this one. And I uh, thank you to everyone who provided a, a name idea in our server. Yeah, and it goes really well with, I guess, our winter Chicago collection that uh, seems to be launching here. Because yeah. uh, we also have up for pre-order our the new Millennium, mm -hmm. which uh, is inspired by Millennium Park, which is just a few blocks away from here uh, during winter as well with uh, the Christmas tree that uh, I think it's up now and they, they might've just lit it mm -hmm. uh, out in Millennium Park and, and the bean um, with all the reflections of, of and snow on that. That pen is uh, sick. Yeah. So it's, uh, that should be coming in the next couple of weeks. I think December 1st is what we're shooting for, but we do have them up for pre-order as well. So two mm -hmm. uh, almost Christmas in Chicago pens or winter in Chicago pens that are uh, exclusive mm -hmm. to Atlas. Yeah, awesome. All right, next up, we've got two Leonardo's that people have really been waiting for. So uh, this pen has been dubbed the cow pen or the moo pen, I believe, uh, especially in our Discord server. We pre-sold almost everything that we we initially ordered on this. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if these are coming back out, but anyone that pre-ordered them, uh, they should be on the way to you. Um, maybe one or two left to go out today. 
Uh, but we have this in the Memento collection. Three trim colors, uh, silver, rose mm -hmm. gold, and gold. I think we might have one or two silver trims left. There's not many. Yeah, it, it's yeah. not many. Are these, like, are these done? When are these? I don't know. Do we reorder I, these? I, that's a great question. I'm not sure. A lot of their stuff is special edition, limited editions, um, where it's kind of a one-shot deal for us. Mm -hmm. I'm not positive uh, if this is something that they're moving forward with. Uh, but uh, if it is, based on the success, uh, the pre-orders will probably be bringing this back in. I know we've had a lot of people asking uh, for a restock on them. So we'll have to see what is available on there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, next up, we have the... Real quick, we got a nice comment here uh, from Joshua. I'm still going to name the Lake Effect pen. Hollywood standing on Navy Pier overlooking an icy Lake Michigan fountain pen. That was my idea for the name of this, but uh, we then decided we want to keep it short. So if we didn't go with Lake Effect, we for sure would have gone with Hollywood standing on Navy Pier uh, overlooking an icy Lake Michigan fountain pen. Maybe we can come up with something for the next one. Yeah, great idea. Uh, so next up, we do have another Leonardo collection, part mm -hmm. of the uh, what's it called? Art Nouveau fountain pen. Two colors. Uh, we have red garnet and black black intense pretty sure these are ebonite uh the entire pen is ebonite uh the, the barrel the cap and then an ebonite feed and this mm -hmm. pen in particular is pretty cool but then if you want to open it up and showcase that feed very uh very namiki emperor -esque. yeah definitely love the red on red uh these have gold nibs uh, the ones we brought in are the number six size gold nib uh extra fine up to their elastic Fine. So a lot of different nib size options on these. Mm -hmm. uh, they are currently five hundred and nineteen dollars. Uh, they do have piston filling system mm -hmm. and then that gold nib. Uh, but ebonite pens really unique. We don't see too many of those mm -hmm. uh, come through the store. And it smells. Yeah, you can smell it. it smells uh, like rubber up close. So yeah, pretty pretty neat. Another one. Or the next pen up on this is. Uh, Brought in specifically for one of our Discord moderators. So we've got the Cueco Perkeo, the infrared. Uh, pretty new pen that came out. We've just got them up on the website this week. I think Brendan's working on photographing these uh, mm -hmm. outside of the you know, so we don't today. have the, the stock images. Mm -hmm. uh, but fantastic model. Uh, really price. affordable, yeah. Let me pull up. I can't remember what the price is off the top of my head. It's got to be like 18 bucks. Yeah, it might be a little more because it's special. These are 29 Oh, 29 oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the regular editions of these, I think, are like 18 18 or to 20 yeah. So fine and medium nibs on these. You really... So the camera's not picking it up as much. But what I'm seeing behind, it is very translucent. Yeah, you can see through it pretty good. Yeah, really, really neat. Uh, comes with a convert or a cartridge, and you can get the standard... Uh, international car, uh, converter that mm -hmm. will fit in there. Quaco has one we got available on our website. So we brought that in specifically for Tanya. Tanya, trying to sell a pen, it smells. <laughs> well, the Ebonite does. Definitely it has is. a unique smell. It's You have to put your nose up right on it, and then you can uh, you can start to, to whiff it a little bit. Uh, next up is one I think that we've, I don't know if we showed it on video before. We've done we some, have, yeah. have we? So this finally came out. We had these up for pre-order for a while. This is the Sands of Komodo from Platinum. Uh, it's North American exclusive. Not sure if this will be continued outside of this year, but I don't know. It's a it's a pretty, pretty sweet, cool yeah, great color. Really cool material. Yeah, you don't see much rose gold trim on Japanese pens either. So pretty cool. Yeah. It's just crisp. This is as crisp as it gets. Crisp, crispy, not saucy. This one's crispy. What about smooth? This one's smooth. This one's smooth. It's all smooth and crispy. Yeah, something like this is saucy. That's saucy. That's saucy okay. right there. Sorry for everyone that's new. They might not know your lingo. What? Uh... You should go back about four years when we started <laughs> doing live videos and rewatch all of our videos on what crispy and saucy means. I've explained it numerous times because the people just don't understand. No, it's unique. Uh, pretty unique to you and Atlas, huh? Well, let me ask the crowd real quick. Do you know the difference between crispy and saucy? Can you guess the difference? Let's hear your take on what the difference is between crispy and saucy. I'm calling the lake effect the one on the 
uh, well, your right side if you're watching, um, that is saucy. And then the platinum on your left side is, is crispy. I would imagine saucy is more complicated than crispy. Exactly. Saucy equals sexy. Both are sexy. Don't get me wrong. But the pattern, yeah. So I think of saucy as more designed or themed oriented. Like there's a lot more going on. You know, it's saucy. Crispy is when it's more sleek. It's simpler, but effective. So there you go. You guys, that might be the best hammer. explanation you've ever given. I don't think I've ever heard it that simple, simplified before. So there's that, no that helps. You know, there's no boundaries. There's I'm no with boundaries. You pretty much every day, and I didn't even know what the difference was mm -hmm. between them all. I feel much better, uh, kind of understanding your your crispy, thought process here. crispy, saucy, yeah, great. crispy, saucy. <laughs> That's the best way to explain yeah. it. Oh, very good. Uh, Simpler, extravagant. Oh my god. <laughs> no comment. I don't know where to go with that. Um, okay, time to move on. I think. Let's. Uh, I don't know much about these. So I don't know how to pronounce the names. Yeah, we ordered these like probably like five months ago. Um, these are the two new Platinum uh, Izumos. And it is uh, Arushi again. But the difference between these and the regular editions is that they show the color all the way through the pen, the cap, and the body rather than just where the, the cap and the body meet. So if you're familiar with the original three, the tan, the red, and the green, you'll notice that there's just a little bit of color right around here. And then the rest of the pen is pretty much like a... Uh, an Arushi black lacquer. And these ones, they actually colored the entire pen. So this one is actually a super dark, deep navy. And this one is like a, I don't know, like a, a soft. It's almost like a pale purple or something. Yeah, I, I don't know what it. they were going for, but it's for sure it's, unique. It, yeah, it's nice. I like that color. This one, that blue. Yeah, this blue is very that's sharp. Stunning. Very sharp. This one right here, I mean, the camera's picking it up pretty well. I have no idea what type of color to describe that. Yeah. But I'm sure, it, you know, in the descriptions of the items, the, the official color names will, will explain. Um, these ones do feature a new nib. It's not just the standard presidential nib. Um, it's got a unique platinum imprint. I know the camera won't pick it up. But these right here are 18 karat gold nibs. I think we brought in fine and medium to start off. I'm not uh, sure if they do They more. might only be available in fine and medium. Sometimes they do broad, but I don't yeah. know if they did it in these ones. But these are super, super crisp. And, uh, you know, if you haven't written with the Izumo, it's a really cool pen. It's definitely larger, but it's not super heavy. Yeah. Uh, maintains a lighter weight. But, yeah, really solid pens all around. Platinum has seen a lot of success with them. Uh, I got a nice comment here from Tanya. Brian must have bullied Brendan as kids. Well, he is seven years older than me, so there is no shortage of bullying. My goodness. Yeah, I mean, it still kind of continues a little bit to this day. But Definitely you know, continues. If you were to meet our middle brother, uh, I don't know if he'll ever get on camera. He gets here. bullied by both of us. He, he does. <laughs> but when we were growing up, the, the real fighting was going on between you and and Jamie. So Look, I try to steer clear. The baby gets um, what he so wants. I think it's more. Yeah, everything just revolves around you. you yeah. Know? There uh, seems to be, you know, anytime some fighting's going on in the family, there seems to be a common denominator. Yeah. Uh, with somebody that's sitting to my left. Maybe There's no on one sitting camera, to your left. Maybe camera-wise <laughs> sitting to your my right, whatever it looks like on there. But, uh, but yeah, so maybe we can get Jamie on hey, sometime. He, to, I don't know if he's get carrying the full on, experience of uh, the Schmidt brothers. I don't know if he's carrying on the, the tradition, but the last few years he's come in, like, exclusively on Black Friday. Yeah, to, to, to help, help us out audit with our process and basically improve everything we've got going on. And of course, he likes to choose Black Friday, like the busiest day of the year, but it's also the best time to see your capacity. So that'd be pretty cool. Yep. Brendan does look pretty scrappy. Yeah, I'm a brawler. <laughs> I'm a brawler yeah. for sure. All right, cool. Uh, I think that's it for this tray. We've got some uh, more pelicans to show off. Um, we've been waiting on these for quite some time. We saw these a few months ago. Threw them up for pre-orders, and then now they are officially here yeah, in we, the shop. We got two of them. Up. There's like seven Excuse pelicans me. up for pre-order. Got to sneeze. I got to sneeze, but it didn't come out. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so we've got two of the new arrivals. We have not received our entire allocation. Uh, so there's a few people that have these up that have uh, pre-ordered some of these pens and different nib sizes that have not shipped. Uh, we're expecting more over the next couple of weeks. Uh, but first up, we have the Pelican M205, the Rose Quartz. This, this is the first time I've opened it. Wow. That's pretty good. That I mean, that is one of my 
more favorites. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. See, he gives me the pen because he doesn't know how to display it properly. Check Sorry. this out. Yeah. Oh, look at that hand. Really showcasing it. Yeah, that's a beautiful one. So the rose quartz. It's, uh, it's simpler than the past ones with shimmer and stuff, yes. which I like. It um, goes along with the ink of the year for Pelican, the uh, rose quartz. So Edelstein that came out earlier this spring. Have it available as just the pen or as the gift set, which is in here, which will include the ink. So people that are pre-ordered that have not shipped yet, we're still waiting on those. The extra stock that we do have available is up and available to order right now. Mm -hmm. So I know we have, we probably have some extra finds in stock um, mm -hmm. and maybe some other various. I think maybe broad. I think it's broad. extra fine and broad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the rest of them should be coming soon. I think fine and mediums. Uh, this is doing really well. Yeah, this is one of the more successful ones we've seen right out the oh, gate. Maybe the most successful out of the this M200 collection. How would you characterize the Pelican nibs? Thick and juicy is how I would characterize it. They definitely run broad. The steel nibs are actually a lot more forgiving than most other steel nibs. So if you're going for a steel nib on like the 200 series, it is a little bit more springy, oddly enough. Um, the gold nibs, definitely juicy, broad, very soft. My favorite writing experience for sure um, is with Pelican nibs. Absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you get like a fine, sometimes it writes like a broad in comparison to other nibs. Pelican nibs are, what does it say? 100% saucy. saucy. You're catching on. You're catching <laughs> on. All right. This is probably the coolest pen of the year, um, pen release of the year, in my opinion. This thing is absolutely undeniably saucy if i could categorize saucy in a physical pen that's what it is i'll get up and show yeah, it try to get a, a it's better hard to showcase what you're actually looking at here this is part of their new art collection it uh, comes in the 600 size so i think this is going to be the first of many i'm not sure if this is going to be a yearly release but we saw this for the first time at the dc pen show we ordered a, a ton uh and they are selling like crazy i think all the pre-orders are out but we have more pens coming uh, well, the box is pretty cool. That didn't uh, pick one up yet. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, let me pull. Trying up. to get the information on it. Yeah, give me one second. Yeah. Pelican. Let's see, can... Let's see if Brian knows what he's doing here. Yeah. No, because I don't think it's picking up at all. All right. The pen is called the Pelican oh, M M M six hundred Glaco Cambon. I was going to say glaucoma. There but. we go. You can kind of see it as I'm turning a little bit. <laughs> All right. Give me that. Let's see. Let's work my, my spirit fingers here. And the craziest part is this is translucent. That guy off there. That showed it off pretty well. Yeah, this is definitely an unbelievable pen. I'm thoroughly impressed. What you don't see on cameras, there's a bunch of like stripes going through the transparent colors as well so it's almost like a guilloche design like a a, a rough kind of a pinstripe design inside all of the colors that you see right here but yeah this pen is super dope i've been excited about this one since we saw it in dc back at the beginning of august very impressive it's picking up pretty well on camera but when you see it in person it's like whoa yeah so we do we, like I said, we have most of these pre-orders shipped, um, possibly even all of them. We do have extra fine and broad still in stock for anyone that wants to pick it up immediately. Uh, not sure exactly how many we have on hand, uh, but fine and medium should be coming back in stock soon. It's the box right there. Got some pellies yeah, it's a, it's a, swimming around. It's a great collection. This is exciting. I, I, I don't know if this is a yearly release uh, or not. I wouldn't mess with it. I don't think it does. Yeah. Yes, it does. Classic Brian not living on the edge. More like classic Brendan breaking things on live on camera. Here you go. It's got the whole write up in here. Okay. Little sign for you, I guess. And then this is all of the information. You gonna flash it so everyone can read it really quick? All right. Anyone Each read page. a thousand? Yeah. <laughs> anyone read a thousand words per minute? Wow. I'll flip to one. All right. Let's see what uh, everyone thinks it said. Yeah. I actually do enjoy the the reading contents in, in some of these boxes. Yeah. Um, yeah, getting on the, on the limited, it. yeah, in particular. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, question, can you swap out the Pelican nibs? Uh, we don't swap nibs, but yes, you can buy Pelican nibs. I'll show you how to do it real quickly. It's actually one of the easiest ones. Just thumb on the feed, index finger on the nib. You just unthread. 
just like that. The whole housing section comes out and you screw it right back in. So yeah, you can buy nibs and uh, you just you have to special order them. Like you have to, if you purchase this in like a medium and then you later say, hey, I'm looking for a fine and we don't have one on hand, you'd have to contact Pelican or Chart Pack Repairs, get the UPC number, bring it back to us, and then we would order it for you and sell it. Um, we don't really like doing it too much, but we will if you really need to uh, swap a nib. Yep. So, but yeah, super easy. Definitely yeah. the easiest in the game to swap. Actually, hold on. Let me fix this. This thing goes right here. Let's see if yeah. you remember what you did, what you took apart. Brian has no faith in me. Little. You know, I've got, how old are you? 27? 27. 27. 27 in <laughs> 10 months. 27 years of about to be, about to be 28. experience with you. So, Boom. Perfect. What do you guys think of the pen, though? I don't know if we have one on display, so I'll leave that I don't know. I saw out. a comment. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's a cool one. Pelican nibs are expensive. Yes, the nib makes up the majority of the pen. If you wanted like a replacement nib for like an M400, it's going to run you like $300 when the pen itself is like $400. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let's move on. Let's do inks. So we have been busy over the last year adding lots of new inks, new brands. Uh, we've got two new brands here today that have been uh, added to the store here over the last couple of weeks. Uh, one is on the website uh, with swatches. The other we're working on, hopefully get them up today. So first up, let's talk about this. This is Troublemaker Ink out of the Philippines. I've been working for seven or eight months, I feel like, trying to get this in. We've got a pretty good starting collection uh, of these inks. Mm -hmm. uh, number of high sheening colors yeah. right um we've got some initial swatches that were done by troublemaker we're working on getting the rest of ours back here, photographed actually. uh maybe if he's got them up here we can showcase a few of them to, to show what they are a few of the colors sold out right away we'll definitely be restocking uh but uh you know something new that's not available in a lot of places yet uh so brand's only been around for a couple of years so uh you'd be one of the first to to try out their inks uh if you're able to secure some some great shading yeah. inks as well yeah, heavy, heavy on the sheen. Though. Look at that. Hanging rice is so pretty. I love it. Some shimmers as well. Yes, yeah, so we probably have like 25 or 30 colors to start. Yeah, this is this is a uh, moon river. This one is sick. I love that when it like is a chameleon ink. It's crazy. What is hanging rice? Hanging rice. Yeah. Got it right here. Yeah, this one's pretty wild. Yeah, these inks are dope. Check them out. And we're actually photographing all the swatches today, which leads us into the next brand that we brought in, which we have swatches for, and I just need to photograph them. Yep. So over the last year or two, we have received a ton of requests for AWZ uh, inks those. to be added to the collection here at Atlas. Uh, brought them in. We've got a good starting amount, uh, probably about 29, 30 inks. Uh, we have them all in store. We just activated them on the website yesterday. We didn't have the swatches up, but the inks themselves are available for order. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully get all those done today. We swatched them yesterday. Uh, these are, these, these are very solid. This brand is gonna do very well. Very solid. Um, so there's a number, I think there's got some iron gall inks, a lot of permanent inks. Sheen Machine, which is the most known. This thing is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, I know you did a viral, I think you got a viral TikTok off of that uh, yeah. yesterday, right? It's the, the For sure, probably like the, highest sheening ink we have yep so we've got uh, it's doing very well in store excited to see what it does on the website i'm sure that some of these colors are going to go very fast uh hopefully that allows us to to keep expanding and, and bringing on additional Oof. colors el dorado look at that that thing is crazy i gotta be honest dude i don't really know what other people carry but our ink selection has got to be one of the most extensive because we just have a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I think we have like 1,100 inks or something. We, we just pulled it up a couple weeks ago because uh, we're working on updating all of the characteristics for our website, uh, finalizing you know, what inks are shimmering, which ones are permanent, uh, what the each size of the bottle is, You know, just trying to get as much information out to you as we can. Uh, but I, when we pulled that list, I'm pretty sure it was 1,100. Might be 1,200 now after adding some of these. Uh, 
these new brands. And uh, you know, we're always expanding. We got a couple more that we're working on as well. KWZ, Troublemaker. Troublemakers are a lot smaller bottles. Yeah. 60, that's crazy that this is 60 ml. It's huge. And then this is, they're both 60 ml. That's oh my lot, gosh. That's a lot of ink. Yeah, I gotta be honest, like it's a little bit misleading, but they're both yeah. 60 ml. So a lot of ink actually, yep. most bottles are not that big. And then lastly, for the inks. Yeah, we got new colors from Waringal. We get the Anna K, I'm not even gonna pronounce the last name, and then Sedna. Sedna is a very calm, like uh, uh, like a, a soft, like a pillow blue. And then the Anna K is a, just a, a pretty standard like fuchsia red, which, you know, it's nice seeing more of the standard colors come out for Waringal. We're yeah, so used to- Yeah, most of what they have, yeah. It's yeah. super shimmery, tons of sheen. So, I do have an announcement. I got something from Waringal. Let's see. Uh, last night, I want to make an announcement. So I, there are a couple items that are going to be discontinued from them that we are not going to be able to get anymore. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to remember what they are. So I'm pretty sure it's the Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde set uh, is discontinued. So we will not be getting any more. And I think it's the Becoming a Witch set uh, is going to be discontinued as well. So if those are of interest to you, uh, the stock that we just got a large order yesterday from Waringal, there's one more in transit once uh, we, we go through both of those inventories. Uh, that'll be it for those two sets, which I know a couple, uh, both of them are pretty popular. Um, and it actually might be the Wizard of Oz spellbook set as well as discontinued. So um, if any of those sets interest you, make sure you grab them soon because uh, those will be unavailable from us hey, uh, moving forward. Brian, what yes. about the Estabrook SDC glass with silver trim in a journal? Well, you know, it's, it was, yeah, that was a really nice pen. Um, a really cool finish, but you know, I thought it, that it just didn't have, we just didn't need it anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't think it meets the standards of a uh, journal or nib anyways. Yeah. So, uh, something that we just, you know, we, we, I made the executive decision to just you know, move on from. Yeah. Um, specifically the journal or nib too. Yeah. Yeah. The other pens, you know, the other ones seem to work really well, um, with that, that silver, uh, trim, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Nothing I can do. There so, you go. You heard it here. Yeah. All right, the last item on the menu, we got some brand new dip pens from Pilot, which these came in when I was out of town. So when I, I saw these in the shop, I was pretty pretty impressed that they've elected to go with like a dip pen route. I'm not sure if they've done anything like this before, not that so, I've seen. So, so. they Yeah, so they have dip pens over in uh, Japan. They just mm -hmm. didn't bring them over here to the US. Uh, so this is a relatively new addition. Uh, there was some that were available in the summer that sold out instantly. Mm -hmm. it took a while for them to get them back in. Um, but it seems to be on trend with a number of the brands that we carry that are bringing their dip pens in mm -hmm. uh, to the U.S. or just creating them, uh, trying to get in on that category. Uh, with all the different shimmering inks that are out there, dip pens are a great way to use them. And so everyone's trying to, to jump on that uh, to come up with their own offerings. Uh, so I think I want to say there's three or four different colors on these fine and medium nib options. Uh, all available on our website. I know uh, we just got these up this week, but they're doing very well to start. I wonder if these are removable. I don't think they are. I have no idea. Yeah. But, you know, let's see. Probably like there's a note here. First thing, don't touch the nib. Don't let don't let Hollywood handle this dip pen and try to remove it. Oh, this is another one. Nib yeah, is the, sharp. The, the nib, I love. The, the well, nib we, cannot we be did. removed. We already, Do not attempt to remove it. It's literally on wow. the box. I, Told you. It also says nib is sharp. We already don't let you uh, play with scissors, so we got to be careful here. Um, but yeah, so new dip pens from Pilot, very popular. Uh, excited to have these. We've been waiting almost all year for them. Uh, we also have an announcement. Uh, Sailor has their own dip pens that are being brought into the U.S. that should be shipping out here in the next uh, week or two that we should have up on their website, mm -hmm. uh, including their food aid nib. That's uh, will be available highly their, requested yeah they're dip pens so we have those coming um we, we keep expanding our glass uh dip pen options mm -hmm. uh, so i know we're always we on keep the expanding for that. everything yeah, that's true fair just very never, fair it just never ends so i'm too clumsy for dip pens yeah well i don't know you got to be careful i guess when uh you're dipping that thing in there we've got plenty of our own videos up there showing us spilling inks, whether using the dip pens or the vacuum pens. Uh, 
got to find a way to secure it to the table. Got to risk right. it, risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, it's probably worth it. All right, that's that's all I got, bro. Yeah, well, that was a lot. That was a lot of new arrivals. I know we're going to be showing off more of the mm -hmm. doorbusters here over the next few days. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you know, thank you everyone for for sticking it out with yeah. us during that that first. Video Even though this was like a yeah, this was like a, an hour and a half uh, project. We really got all this done in like a 25 minute video, 35 minute video. Yeah, so, good. yeah. So good news is uh, we'll repost this, get it up right now on the YouTube channel so you can refer back to it. But, you know, thank you so much for the love. Hope you had a great visit to Phoenix. Michael, it was fantastic. Uh, happy to be back, though. You know, I, I like being gone for about a week and then getting back into the swing of things. Um, but, yeah, if you guys have any questions, hit us up. Join our Discord server. We're like five members away from 500, which is absolutely absurd. Uh, 500 members in like two months is, is a crazy number. So thank you to everyone in there, uh, including our moderators, keeping things intact and, uh, you know, keeping the, the flow of it moving. But you guys, you know the drill. Well, you, you got anything you want to say? No. You already, you already no. said bye-bye? Yeah, no. I'm, you know, I'm glad we were able to get back on here. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm really mm -hmm. excited about that uh, exclusive from Edison. Yep. that we have. So I think I, I know I just heard the back door, so that might be the shipment. Let's go. Right now. Oh. Y'all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.